Okay, welcome. Um, this is going to be the first in a series of videos on back to basics of how to do stuff. So what we're going to do today is pretty simple. We are just going to say, hey, I've been told to start a web paging class. What are the basics of how do I set this project up so that I'm ready to go? So where's the basic starting points with everything, just from scratch? So we're going to start off by opening up brackets, because that's what I like using. And um, then uh, I need a place to put it. So if I open up my documents folder, I am going to right click here. We go to new. I'm going to go to folder and back to basics. Please, every time you start a new proje project, put it in a folder. Okay. Um, all everything that we're doing this project needs to go here. Now we know that this project is going to have style, and it might have the possibility to have media or images. So. The next thing we want to do is make a new folder for style, boom, and I'm going to make another new folder to drop um, images in, just like that. Now, what goes in the image folder? Well, images. So it just happens to have that I have a nice, beautiful, lovely boy here, and I am going to take him off my desktop and drop him into my image folder. So you can see that he is still in his full regalia and glory. All right, so now let's get started. So we have this folder in uh, brackets. So I'm going to go File, Open Folder. And the nice thing about this is that I can work on this. So we are going to open up brackets. I, as you saw, I have opened up the folder. So next thing is, let's just say new. And so we need two things. We need a style document and a um, HTML. So let's start the HTML. So doc type, we like to put that in capital. We like to put that in capital letters. So uh, doc type, right? So notice that no colors have come up so far. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go file or control S. See, control S, save it. And we're going to save this. What is this going to be? This is going to be um, our back to basics. Hmm. Back to basics. And then very importantly, save it as an HTML file. So back to basics HTML. Boom. All right. So we're going to come back to this in a moment. But for right now, well, let's let me do this right now. HTML, uh, we know we need to have a language attribute in here. Um, otherwise, our validators get mad at us. And you will notice that if you open a tag, you close a tag. Okay? Hit Control Save. Cool. The other file that you need to set up. So we've just set up our HTML file, saving it as you see here on the screen. The other file that we need to set up is our style one. So again, just for basics, let's put the most basic tag. Let's say body. Okay? So we're not doing using CSS selectors here. Body. Um, and uh, because I like the, the autocomplete, a little bit different here. Our CSS is going to go in our style folder. So what are we going to call this? Well, we can call it main style or style, but we need to go style.css. So what have I done is I've hit file new twice, one to create an HTML file, and the other time to create a CSS file. Boom. So now just do the most basic. I'm going to choose background color, and um, let's go with a C E C E uh, uh, D D. Okay. Notice the uh, way we do CSS. You select the thing that you want to modify. You select the the attribute or the selector, and you set its value. Okay. Uh, again, Control Save. Um, so now I have two working files in my brackets thing, but I also have the whole folder here. So if I want to, here's the tiger. Here's the style. You can see my whole folder. This is what we would call a subfolder, our child of the main folder. And this would be a you know in that subfolder. We'll talk about how to do that in a moment. So let's make this an HTML. Again, every HTML file needs to call its stock type at the top. So you notice the syntax up there, uh, the explanation point, HTML. And then we have an HTML tag that wraps around everything. OK. In an HTML file, you need two things. You need a head. Notice if you open a tag, you need to close one. And you need a body. Again, if you're not using an IDE, an uh, integrated development environment like I'm doing here that does the autocomplete for you, you would need to type, type this out. And I would highly suggest that you type it out before you go to something else. Okay? 
Uh, let's do the basics here. Um, let's mess with the head first. So in the head, we need a title. Remember that shows up at the top, and we're going to call this back to basics. Basics. Uh, well, let's <laughs> back to back. Let's do back to back because spelling is not working out for me right now. Now, here's the tricky part. Here's the next thing you need to recognize. We need to put a link to our style in here. So we're going to say link href, okay, equals, now this is an attribute. Now the nice thing about using uh, brackets is you notice it can let me automatically select this thing. So I'm not going to do that. I am going to say dot slash, which says current folder I'm in. I want to go down to the style folder, okay, and in the style folder I want to select the style.css file. Now, you will not always use the same words I typed here. Sometimes these things will be named differently. Sometimes they'll be in different places. Do not just copy and paste. Know where you put your stuff. Okay, now here's the next thing. We need to say what type this is. The type is text slash CSS. Very good. And the final thing we need to do is what is the relationship. And the relationship of this thing, this link, is a style sheet. Okay, and then we close out the tag. Uh, notice that you could do that, but that is not necessary. You do not necessarily need that closing tag here. Okay, control save. Actually, let's, I'm going to go back here and fix this real quick while I'm at it. So basics, there we go. Just my brain didn't have a break. So let's do the basic ne bare necessity, H1, all right? world and then let's put a paragraph in here so we're gonna say this is a graph hmm I'm really struggling today yeah. we'll fix that later this is also a let's see there we go whole lot better now I'm going to want to give this some space to itself. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to, you know, actually, I'm going to do one more thing. And I'm just going to say, so is this. So what have I done so far is I've given myself a head a, and a body. So we've done a head and a body inside HTML. That's how it works. See, you can even close this stuff down so you don't have to look at it all. All right. In the head, I've just given myself a heading and a paragraph. And in here, I have referenced that. So I've saved this all. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to take all of this because I want to give it some space. Let's try that again. I'm going to take all of this, and we are simply going to just go Control-V a few times. OK, so remember the folder we were at? This was in my document, not in my downloads. This was in my documents folder right here. This was in HTML. This was in Back to Basics. And here it is, Back to Basics. So if I call this up on the screen, there we go. You see the gray background. Gray background is because in my um, CSS right here, I've said, hey, choose a nice gray background with a little tint of blue. And that's the basics. So we will go further from this, but this is a good stopping point for now.